angels till I met you. Now I'm a believer, though I don't have wings. I'm flying so high when you say that you'll be there. There must have been a mix up above. I never did a thing to deserve. Four years ago, I met a girl whom, despite my efforts, provided me with the most challenging set of dating circumstances I've ever encountered. Over the years, I learned that these were just a strengthening of my love and my devotion. With all the adventures that we've had in our hands in the past few years, I can think of no one else to spend the rest of my life with but you. Lisa, today, I miss our friends and family. I make these promises as we begin our next journey together with you as my wife. I promise to support you always, even when we don't see eye to eye. I promise to make you laugh, even when you're not in the mood. I promise to keep feeding you, since your satisfied face is the best part of my day. I promise to be patient, because let's face it, one of us has to be. I promise to be silly, because life is too tough to be serious all the time. I promise to love you with my all because I know that's what you'll always do to me. And I promise to be your friend, your companion, your love from before now until past forever. Go by in the blink of 
Dedicate yourselves to staying open and honest to each other, to learn and to grow, even when it is difficult to do so. And have faith in one another, to go forward together, even though the future is unknown. For you're not alone in this journey, as you always have each other. Your marriage will be filled with more happy occasions than you can remember. But marriage takes hard work, and there will be difficult and frustrating times to come. It is what you do together during these storms that truly matter. Never give up on each other. Always remember to treat each other with an unwavering love and respect and to never fall short of having patience. We also know that love comes in many interesting forms, like furry little four-legged forms. And we know how important pets are, <coughs> Caesar, to the both of you. So I would like to cite a few lines for a poem called How Falling in Love is Like Owning a Dog. On cold winter nights, love is warm. It lies between you and lives and breathes and makes funny noises. Love wakes you up in all hours of the night with its needs. It needs to be fed so it will grow and stay healthy. Love doesn't like being left alone for long, but come home and love is always happy to see you. It may break a few things accidentally in its passion for life, but you can never be mad at love for long. Love makes messes. Love leaves you surprises here and there. <laughs> and love needs lots of cleaning up after. But most of all, love needs love, lots of it. And in return, love loves you and never stops. You are both so fortunate to have found each other, to have companions for life that love you, challenge you, and make you smile no matter how bad your day was. So, um, four years ago, I met a girl who, despite my best efforts, just made dating really, really difficult for me. And, but over the years, you know, as I got to know you, I realized that all the things that you did just helped strengthen my love and devotion for you. And as of now, I can't think of anyone else I'd spe rather spend the rest of my life with. So Lisa, today, in, friend, in front of our friends and family, I make these promises to you as we begin our new journey as, with you as my wife. I promise to support you always, even when you don't see eye to eye. I promise to make you laugh, even if you're not in the mood for it. I promise to feed you, because that look is precious to me and it's the best part of my day. I promise to be patient, because let's face it, one of us has to be. I promise to be silly, because life is too tough to be serious all the time. I promise to love you with my all, because I know you'll always do the same for me. I promise to be your friend, your companion and your love from before now until past forever. <clears throat> when I first met you, I didn't know what to expect, nor did I really understand what true love really felt like or meant. I was a stage in my life where I was trying to rediscover myself. Literally, did I know what was in store for me? In the beginning, I always thought being with the one meant you had to have the shiny white teeth, sparkly anime eyes, <laughs> and rock hard abs, etc. <laughs> it wasn't until I met you when all that changed. <laughs> all, all those imperfections made you special to me because you, it made you who you are. Every wrinkle, every mark, every smile tells me a story about you. Looking back, I can say I truly, I'm truly blessed to have shared all those amazing memories with you. As we grow old together, I promise that I won't let little things impact how we continue to love each other. I promise to always make you smile on a gloomy day. I promise to let you play video games at least once a week so I can watch my reality TV. I promise to ensure that we at least eat vegetables at least once or three times a week. Because heck, life's not worth living if it's not without you have, having you, you be in it. 
I promise that each stage of our life together, I, I will appreciate you, challenge you, respect you, and support you. I hope that as we embark on this new journey together, we can learn new ways of how we can love each other more each day. I promise that there is no storm that we can never, can ever, can never weather together. So that's my promise to you. Dean, Lisa, you are both blessed to have come from truly loving families who recognize the importance of marriage and the love that you share. Everyone, Dean and Lisa would like you to know that who they are today is a direct result of many years of love and sacrifice by their parents. Dean and Lisa, please take a moment to honor your parents. Let's go to my side first. Oh, let's go to your side. Your mom has her flowers already. Oh. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Mommy. <laughs> 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 so funny. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh oh, 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 Ding, take this ring and place on Lisa's finger and repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And commitment to you. And commitment to you. Can I have Ding's ring? Lisa, take this ring. Go on Ding's finger and repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And commitment to you. And commitment to you. Ding. Do you take Lisa to be your wife and promise to be true to her in good times and in bad, and in sickness and in health, to love, honor, and cherish her for as long as you both shall live? I do. Lisa, do you take Ding to be your husband? I promise to be true to him in good times and in bad, and in sickness and in health, to love, honor, and cherish him for as long as you both shall live. I do. Well then. <laughs> in the presence of this gathering, and by the power invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride.
I'm gonna reach it from the reaches God We can, but only if we've got a win There is nothing better than God Do we care of what we've got today?
thank and so many people here to be grateful for. And one of them would like to come up and say some official words of welcome, representing the groom side of the family. We like to call up the groom's father. So you got your son long So everyone, let's give it up for the groom's father, everybody. especially those of you who have a long way. You make this day very special. I also want to take, take this opportunity to thank everyone else who uh, make, this, uh, make the day so memorable. And marriage is a miracle. And Dean, I remember Dean, uh, come from uh, come from uh, uh, China to Canada when he was a little boy, and then from Canada to California when he was a teenager, and then he met Lisa. Lisa, uh, you are a great girl. <laughs> So always you love my son and make him, make him happy. Okay. Even though we know each other for some time, but today I would I would officially say, formally say, okay, uh, you are part of uh, this family. And I'm uh, very proud to say you are the daughter of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. So when Dean and Lisa are about to enter their next stage of their life, in their new life, I would like to give uh, them some blessings. And marriage lies in, uh, in the harmony, okay? And and uh, um, I hope their, their marriage be harmonious and their life be happy as long as they live. So, what remains is to join me to have a toast to this new couple. Yeah! Woo! Woo! Ding and Lisa. Thank you all. Mr. 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 Yeah. And let's also give it up one more time for the groom's father for sharing some very special words of welcome. Thank you so much once again representing the groom's side of the family. And I actually have the honor of representing the bride's side of the family, specifically mom. Where's our bride's mom? Mommy, don't want a good girl sell some like mommy have been done. So mom, stand up and say hi everyone. Let's give it up for our bride's mom. And she's written a few words that I'm just gonna speak on her behalf. So, from mom, pretend she's talking, okay? <laughs> I am very happy today for my daughter, Lisa, but it also saddens me a little bit that their father is unable to be here to celebrate the beautiful union of Ding and Lisa. Their father would have been so happy, and I know in my heart that he would have chosen Ding for Lisa. I am grateful that both of our daughters have found great men to support and love them. I'm sorry that I'm unable to accommodate and greet everyone properly, but want to thank everyone for your understanding and helping me celebrate my daughter and my new son's wedding. I wanted to welcome Ding's parents, Jim and Julia, 
to our family and their son, Jesse. My husband and I entrust our daughter's life, well-being, and love to things care with their blessing. So let's give it up one more time for our star他今天很开心和很幸运的可以在陪伴他的女儿见到他终于今天可以结婚最重要的是他很开心虽然他爸爸不可以在一起但他知道他也很开心在祝福他们两个永结同心白头到老他也都很多谢这么多位亲戚
<laughs> um, we are both introverts, figuring out who we are in the world. And there, was, there he was that night on Wednesday, telling me that he wants to pour his soul out for a girl he met through Bagel. And there's this one thing people say, you know, when a, when a tree falls in the forest and you don't hear a sound, did that tree fall? And I wonder that if you love someone and you can't express it, is that really love? Shakespeare talked about love and communication a lot in these plays, in tragedies and comedies. And one thing I figured was that a lot of times when you can figure out the communication, the tragedy wouldn't happen. So I hope that both of you will continue to communicate with each other every day for the rest of your days, whether it was in a joyous moment or in these real moments of sorrow, whether there was time of triumph, which I hope there will be many, or these real moments where you must consider a strategic lead appointment. And uh, whether it was in significant matters or even in those in small details, that you would trust each other and be each other's safe harbor, and that before all else, they both be no joy. Thank you. Normally, it is the matron or maid of honor and the best man who gets to give a speech. So I feel very privileged to be able to be up here for a third time for a term. Uh, I've known Lisa since sixth grade, so we've known each other for over 20 years. And when I first met Lisa, uh, it was a really interesting interaction because she's such a smart girl and so witty and so funny. And uh, she is such a great cook. She taught me how to make summer rolls over at her house. And I remember um, she took the sriracha sauce and the hoisin sauce. And the sriracha sauce and the hoisin sauce are both like really excellent sauces already. And she blew my mind when she mixed them together. It was like amazing. But you're wondering like, why am I talking about sauce? So I think Lisa is very hot on her own. She's just like Sriracha. And um, when I met her, she was actually looking for her Prince Darian. Uh, she was really into Sailor Moon. And um, you're probably wondering why I'm mentioning Sailor Moon and Prince Darian. You know? But um, all of you are here for a special reason. Lisa's superpower is connection, and she always stays so connected and so committed. Wherever I went, whether it was for volunteer work, or whether it was for my career, or for school, she would take the time to visit me. This is very rare in this world where everybody is all on their phone, and they're always in their computer, and you know, maybe they start to become a flake and actually saying no is easier than showing up. And she would visit me when I was in school at Berkeley. And she would visit me when I was in Miami doing volunteer work all the way on the East Coast. And she took her mom and her sister to go out to Miami to visit me. And when I was in Berkeley, she visited me. And when I was in Vegas, she took her mom and sister out to visit me again. She's a very special person. And I am really, really excited that she found her Prince Darian, that she found her hoisin sauce. And I'm really excited for them to become even more connected and even better than they were on their own, if that's even possible. Because, like I said, Lisa is very hot, just like Sriracha, and really awesome. So I would like to give a toast to them tonight, and I wish that they will always make each other better, and that they would work through everything, and that they would always stay awesome sauce. Hold on, hold that pose. On a count of three. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Go ahead, get in there. Very slowly, go ahead. Cut, cut into the kick, for real now, for real. Okay, now freeze, don't move. Whoa, stick the knife back in, stick the knife back in. 
knife back in. Turn towards each other and kiss and hold that pose for a million years until our paparazzi gives me the okay. All right, perfect. Now go ahead and cut a slice from the bottom. You have to pull the knife out. Sometimes it gets stuck. There we go. There we go. Third time's the charm. So honey, now. Lisa's not very coordinated right now, so Jing, can you take the lead? Here we go. Cut a slice from the bottom, from the very bottom, bottom tier. There we go. All right, perfect. Now go ahead and get the little cake scooper, get the plate. Lisa, can you help out a little bit? Let's see if she can. You have to hold the plate close to the cake, darling. Hold it a little bit lower. Lisa, you can do it. When Hold my hands all the door. time and my memory fades. Oh, this is terrible. There we go. The help, help him out. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to see if we can also do when this. My hands don't play you can go ahead and put the knife and the little mm. cake scooper down. I know That's you fine. Still love me All right. Uh, now each of you guys grab a fork. You. You so you're going to each get a piece of cake. Oh, it's and on a count of three, you're going to feed each other, okay? Hold on, three. Baby, Very slowly. Here we go. One, two, three, action. Feed each other at the same time. Aim for the mouth. Try. We're getting closer. You guys have to eat the cake, though. There we go. All right, now let's see if we can do this. Just ding. Get a really big piece of cake, as big as your fork can possibly carry. Just the groom. Just the groom. Just the groom. Not Lisa. Oh, see if you can get that big piece. All right. There we go. Okay, Lisa, come back. Where are you going? Come back. Don't run away. Put the plate down. Put the plate down. All right. Now, because you guys are married, sharing is caring now, right? So you guys have to eat that big piece of cake at the same time. Teamwork makes the dream work. So here we go. On a count of three, everyone, let's make some noise. One, two, three. Go for it. All the way, all the way. Come on. Eat the whole thing. Eat the whole thing. Better finish it up. It's your wedding cake. Good job. All right. Clean up after yourselves right there. There we go. All right. Now, why don't you guys each grab a glass of champagne? Got to finish it off. Ding, put the glass in your other hand. What you're going to do is you're going to cross arms and you're going to drink from your own glass. All right, on a count of three. Here we go. One, two, three, action. You got what you're saying? Some of them, some of them. You go, sons, you got guns out, huh? Oh, they're all about the bottoms up. Oh, yeah. Thank you, everyone, for coming. I know some of you traveled as far as probably farther than Canada, to be honest, to get over here today. And we appreciate all the support that we've had. Um, neither of us would have got here without some support from each and every one of you here and we thank you from the bottom of our hearts for making this wedding such a success and making this special day special for both of us so thank you so much thank you <laughs> that's okay all all of it in two words thank you that's what all the bride wants to say short and sweet and the name of the game is show me so what are you guys going to show us? It's going to be good, trust me. All I'm going to do is ask you for your name and for you to pick a number from one through six. You guys sober enough to handle that? Six guys, six members. All right, I'm going to start on the set. All right, so pick a number and tell us your name. My name is Daniel, and I'm going to pick number six. Daniel wants to pick number six, so Daniel, stand up. All right. And show us number six. Come on, DJ, let's see what we've got. Uh oh. Uh oh. You gotta dance. That's what you're showing us. Come on, show us the move. Stretch it out. You guys can still get nervous there now. Your, your name? JP. JP, what number would you like? Three. JP thinks he's good at number three, so stand up and show us number three. My 
name is Will. Will? Oh, what number would you like? I'll take two. Will thinks he's a number two. Oh, oh. Okay, excuse me. Here we go. Let's see what we got, Will. Oh, my gosh. Boy band 
or something. I don't know. All right, so now I'm going to have the bride and groom decide. This is the hardest decision of your lives. Who do you think is the winner of our dance off? Okay, turn to each other. Deep, deep, deep discussion. Deep, deep, deep. Milo! Milo! Okay. Milo! It's the hardest decision they've ever made. You can see the deep thought. Oh, I guess, I guess there is a serious, serious discussion there. Will, thank you for Rochambeau. That's, that's how you really want. All right? Everybody's here for Will. In fact, let's get all the guys together. Let's have you guys get a picture. So come on up here and get a picture with our bride and groom. And all the guys bragging rights for the night. Man, my money was a man. <laughs> I know. Man, let me down. The winner was decided by Rochambeau. Hey, you let me say. down, man. <laughs> All right. Camera on paparazzi right there. Look forward. Look forward, guys. All right. Let's give it up one more time for all of our dance off, guys. Is, so the guys' game was called Show Me. The girls' game is called Bring Me. All right. So what do you have to do is I'm going to name items that you have to go look for and get from our audience. So it's a bit of a scavenger hunt, okay? Mixed with musical chairs. So by the time you come back, you're gonna put on whatever item I named and come sit down, all right? You all ready? You have to take off your shoes or you're gonna do it with your drink. That's all good. That's all good. It's all good. Oh, see, these ladies need business. Sorry. If you, get them, you think you, you can run your heels, that's all good. Okay, we're ready. They don't mess around. Okay. Oh, okay. Head start. Yep, ladies are competitive, guys. Don't, don't mess with us. All right, here we go. First item. Bring me a man's tie. Bring me somebody's tie. Take a tie. Come on, just sit down, please. After a long discussion, another hard decision, bring me a 
a best for you guys. Best. Last item. Oh, nice. Matt there is mostly stripped of his clothing now. Pretty good, pretty good. We have our winner. Let me get all the ladies that played the game to come on back out. Let me get all the ladies to come on back out. <laughs> all right, Matt, stand next to them, yep, so we can show how mostly disheveled you are. <laughs> are you going to squeeze up? Oh, squeeze in a little bit tighter. There we go. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Practice. Practice. <laughs> all right, let's give it up one more time for all of our ladies. Thank you so much for having some fun with us. All right, here we go. Single ladies, come on. Hands up, hands up, hands up. There we go, there we go. All right, on a count of three, here we go. One, two, three. Nice.
Show. Mm-hmm. 